It was a story first exposed by Local 4. Now two Detroit EMS workers have been charged with assault. And today, those two EMS workers were in court formally charged in the incident that left a man who was suffering from a seizure with a black eye and other injuries. Now, uh, Roman Robinson said that he had no recollection of the injuries suffered as he was taken to the hospital that day. Our Lauren Fidel was in court as the charges were read. Today, two Detroit EMS techs were in court and charged with assault after allegedly beating 36-year-old Romaine Robinson in the back of an ambulance back in August. The next step was just me figuring out how did I look like this? Mm -hmm. Why? What happened? You know what I'm saying? It looked like somebody beat me up. I spoke to the victim days after the incident. According to the police report, Romaine's fiance called 911 when Romaine was having a seizure at their home on Carl Street. That's when EMS techs 37-year-old Brian Beals and 25 year old Brian Baczynski arrived. Robinson's attorney, Mike Morris. He's wheeled out to the bus, to the EMT bus, and he gets, they start beating him up. They're in front of the house for over 30 minutes. They're, the daughter, the young daughter's thinking, what's going on here? She's looking out the window and she sees them pounding on her dad. Morris said a beating that left Robinson with eye injuries he's still being treated for. He's got to wear glasses all the time. They're dealing with some head injury stuff. Part of his eye was detached in the, on his right side. Fast forward months later, today, Beals and Baczynski were charged with misdemeanor aggravated assault in a video arraignment. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office uh, looked at this for several months and decided there was enough evidence to charge these two um, for, for crimes. Both techs have been suspended without pay. We reached out to Union President Joseph Barney, who released this statement. We will not comment on the ongoing legal proceedings. Both the union and the technicians have been cooperative with the process. Both techs were on desk duty before turning themselves in this morning. Mora says the victim's family still traumatized. It's so outrageous. Imagine being beaten up by the people you thought were going to help you. Now these two EMTs, they will be back in court January 5th for a pretrial. In the meantime, Mike Morris says he has enough evidence to take this case to federal court. It could end up being a multi-million dollar case, not only against these technicians, but against the city as well. Lauren Podell, Local 4.